Hello and welcome to Waste Channel. We are here in the Airport Simulator 2015. This is the same game or the next game to the 2014 edition, which is the lowest rated game on Steam and that's exactly wh why I play it. Um, the 2015 edition is actually not the lowest rated game on Steam, it's only the 2014 edition with only 10% positive reviews. The 2015 edition has 31% positive reviews, which is quite good in comparison. Um, and I actually wanted to play the 2014 edition, but I thought, as supposed to the pictures, it should have more content and some stuff, so I thought, well, let's take the 2015 edition. Welcome, this is your first working day at the International Airport. You should familiarize yourself with the place as soon as possible. I will. So this is our game area. Here you can view the aircrafts that need servicing, whether you are departing or have just arrived. Now click the blue marker. Okay. Oh, it's getting bigger there. Cars driving around. Here's the information you should read before accepting. Click accept and practice now. Career mission, okay. Yes, yes. Require ground service catering. Okay, accept. Let's see what services services needed. Read the operation UI. Uh what? Ah. The service needs are shown in the list. Now it needs a catering service. Let's select the catering truck. Okay, so we are in the catering truck. Now you're driving. Have a quick look at the parking app prone. Right click and drag the mouse to pan and roll the mouse wheel to zoom. Okay, alright, and right click to look around. Nice. Ooh, nice man. Good private jet there. Uh, there's a flat and open marking app prone. To drive, press WS to move forward and backward. Press anti to turn left and right. Yeah, okay, that's just simple game steering. Yes, okay. Check the map and find out where you should go. You should go somewhere in this direction. Hurry up, go now. I'm driving! <laughs> what are you expecting? This uh, thing can only do 30 miles an hour. Now try to park the vehicle. Yes. Good, press space for connect the aircraft. Okay. Press and hold up to race. Okay, let's, let's turn the view so we see what is going on. Ah, okay. Press and hold S to deliver the cart. Ah, oh, hold, okay. Total number of carts. Four. One is in. Okay, so I just have to hold the S button. Okay, all four are in. Uh, press down. Uh, just closing. Uh -huh. Okay. Card is going down. Turn camera. Mission complete! Pass profit $701. Damage penalty zero, time bonus, vehicle bonus. Okay. In almost three minutes. What do I press? Okay. Just a mouse click. New vehicle unlocked. Jet bridge. The jet bridge is an enclosed movable connector which extends from an airport terminal gate to an, to an airplane. Allowing passengers to board and disembark without going outside. You have done a good job. Don't forget you can earn extra money if you have time remaining. The more time left over, the more money you get as a bonus. Alright. And now you're no longer a new buy. Oh. That's what you say. But an official trainee at the inter international airport. Oh, okay. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. The jet bridge is now unlocked. Check it out in the garage. Go to a career overview. Here are the vehicles you own. The green arrow tells you that you have enough money to upgrade. Let's try upgrading the jet bridge. 
Okay. You can see the information for the vehicle after the upgrade. Let's upgrade it. Confirm it. And back to the mission map. As you're a trainee at, you, at our airport, you can help us out more by accepting green random missions. Random mission. Time limit, one and a half minutes only. Okay. Require Grand Service Jet Bridge. Accept it. It's accepted. Let's switch to the Jet Bridge. You can press WASD to position the Jet Bridge and the arrows. Okay. Arrows are for the front part. Oui. It got very quick now. Now you can press the spacebar to let the passengers out. Okay. Mission complete, that's it, okay. That was... There was not much to do, only 40 seconds. Well done, you got your first achievement. A each achievement gives you a small money reward as well. Where do you have our money? Here it is, trainee. We have $764. Great. Click the achievement button to get your reward. Get 200. Oh, okay. Nice, there are many achievements you might be interested in. Check them out later. Okay. Now you have all the essential skills for working at the International Airport. Enjoy your job and good luck. Thank you. Gate open. What is to do there? Uh, random mission, 7 minutes catering required. Let's try that out. And why is that blue and that green? Gate open. Career mission. Career mission? Random mission. Okay, so they're differentiated by color. Green is random, blue is career. Let's do the random first, just for bonus money. I mean, we get four, 410. Okay, we need catering. Catering truck, and we are right there. Drive the corresponding aircraft. Where is the aircraft? There it is. So the steering is not perfect, but it's steerable. And so I'm not sure, but I don't think that such a big truck goes to such a small airplane. Space? Okay, loading in. And also I noticed that every time you're steering with a 100% angle or just the wheel fully on any side, uh, then the um, indicator turns on. Quite interesting. $825 for time bonus, oh yeah, okay, so the time bonus is, wow, and why do we have 8 minutes to drive, like, what, 100 meters or what? Cool, another random mission, what is needed? Catering, once again, drive to the corresponding aircraft, yes. Okay, so the brakes aren't very great. The steering, especially uh, forwards and backwards, are is um, very delayed and like, I don't know, strange. Also the steering a little bit, but okay. Loading in! I think that's it once again. Yes! Nice! We always double our income with the time bonus. That's quite nice. Gate open. Is there catering again? Jet bridge. Okay, that's... That's just a very short mission. Let's do that. Oh, and we have angles on the lower corner of the screen. There's angle degrees and probably it should be at zero. The steering is very... Um, I don't really get it. You, you just press a little bit A and then it steers just a little bit, but if you hold it then it just uh, jumps to the right or the left or 
like in in that case with a bridge I hold A <laughs> and then it first goes slow and then boom it rams the aircraft. Do some career missions, why not? Jet bridge, that's also a short one. We need the jet bridge and the intro like camera zooming in is always very long. An Airbus A380 3800. That's what it's called here, but actually it's a 380, I think. Not 3800. But okay. No damage, also, I actually touched the airplane. But, well, I don't know what really counts as damage there. Maybe it's also not active for now until a certain level, or I don't know. Gain more experience to unlock this mission. Yes, we will do career 03 first. We need two things to do. Well, let's first do the jet bridge. Okay, space. Can we change now as long as it's boarding or do we have to wait? Okay, we have to wait. Okay, that's uh, not um, the best solution. We have completed. Okay, so it just stays like that. Catering, yeah, here. Good. That was uh, better in the 2014 edition, where you just had... Um, you, you drove any vehicle, like, what was just needed to an, aerpl an airplane. And uh, it did a job, and uh, as long as, as it was working there, you could drive something else. So your job was just to drive vehicles from A to B, as we're <laughs> doing right now. And uh, there, it really took some time, so the catering would need, uh, like, I don't know, 15 minutes. And as long as it did that, you had to do a lot of other things, and there was really a lot to do. Uh, <clears throat> every aer airplane had to be catered and fueled up and passengers uh, first had only passenger stairs and no jet bridge and a lot of other stuff so there was quite something to do but at first uh, the issue was that uh, you really had uh, nothing to do after all vehicles were at their destination as it really took a long time for some jobs to be completed so you just had to wait several minutes until you could drive something back and at the, at the beginning there, there was only one plane and you could really see how the planes were coming in so that was this the main difference to the to the 2015 edition and also the 2019 edition uh, I don't know which one is better. I think if the um, timing would be different, the 2014 edition would be actually good with like stuff going on live while you're doing something else. But well, we will see what um, yeah, the 2015 edition, so the game we're in right now, what this is capable of. If this also has helpers and everything, which we can hire. So there is stuff going on or just going automatically so we can do other stuff. I don't know how it will be later on. Now it's just accepting missions. Oh, new vehicle. Refueler, okay. The refueler is a self-contained fuel truck used to refill aircraft's fuel tanks. Nice. Career overview. And we can upgrade. We have quite a quite some money there. Catering truck. High speed. Okay, so they're, get, they're getting faster over time. That's good, that's good. And they're giving more profit. What would upgrade cost? 720% more speed and 150 more profit. That's not that bad. Let's just do... yeah? And 1800 for another one. I don't know. Let's just first look at... other trucks or other vehicles. So there, there is quite something to be... Um, explored, unlocked, refueler, upgrade right away, and maybe once more, I don't know, if we should just like upgrade until we have no money, maybe the jet bridge, because upgrades bring some benefits, also the jet bridge is really no problem, so the speed is high enough, <laughs> it's really high enough, 
Okay, so maybe, yeah, I think I will just upgrade the carrier truck. <clears throat> One more upgrade, because we need that a lot, and speed is, speed is good. We need fuel. Okay, what else? We've just unlocked that. Fuel? Drive to the corresponding aircraft. Yes. No, I'll drive somewhere else. I will just go home now. It has somewhat of uh, rear axle steering or something. The rear axle, axle is steering too. Press and hold up to raise the platform. Okay, left click the left pipeline and drag it into the slot. Rotate clockwise to lock the pipe clockwise. Is this way, okay. Now left click the right pipeline, yes, yes. Now you're refueling. Tank capacity, alright. Even platform height, I don't know why, but well. So we know that we are 5 meters in the air. Okay, that's it. Mission complete. Nice. Gate closes in 7 minutes. Catering needed, that's what I upgraded. Let's just do this. Catering is always fine, it's nothing difficult. Drive to the aircraft. I will. Can we turn? Yes, it fits. Is there an internal view or something? Actually, I like this game. <laughs> In, in some... I don't know, in, in, uh, I somehow like that game, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just re relaxing. Catering and fuel, okay, accept. We have 12 minutes, more than enough time. Let's just click one of these. Okay, so we have a tower view. We can't look up and down, but left and right, so we have an overview over the map. Okay, and we have communication here. What is that? Oh, okay, trucks for snow. Trucks here. Trucks for cargo. Alright. And some other stuff. That's probably a pushback truck, and that's... Taxi? Car? Eight? Whatever? Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, so it's become a lot faster. That's noticeable. And we just went... By the plane, <laughs> we should cater. There it is. There we are. Raise the platform. To what height? Seven and a half meters. Okay, nice to know. Only two pieces, so that should be okay. Let's retract everything. First thing done. You have completed the mission. Yes, go to fuel. As quick as possible, just for simulation purposes and for bonus money. Raise the platform again, 5 meters? Yes. Okay, nice. Turn it. Turn it. Okay, we are refueling. Okay, great. That's it? Yes, that's it. Vehicle bonus. Oh yeah, that's okay. The bonus that we get from upgrading. Cool. One and a half thousand. Next rank. Current rank. Assistant. Wow. We are assistant. We have the snow broom. Nice. The snow broom is a machine for clearing snow. Perfect for sweeping an average snow height of below 30 centimeters. Let's upgrade that. We have enough money. But only one time. Mission map. So let's try that right out. Probably this. It's that one. Snow. Snow clearance. Yep. We have eight minutes for that. Use the. Okay, let's see. Plane is in our way. Okay, there is the snow mass we have to remove. Press the spacebar to activate the engine when you reach the snow field. All right. That's it? Really? <laughs> it just disappeared. I thought it would be working now for, I don't know, a few minutes. Okay. So you just have to do a certain percentage and then it disappears. Okay, nice. Okay. Why not? <laughs> That, that somewhat surprises me, because I thought I would be working for several minutes now, and... Well, okay. 
Snow clearance and fuel. Let's do that one. Random mission. Why not? Okay, park perfectly. Race platform to 5 meters again. Yep. Cool, now snow clearance. Get the vehicle. Oh, well. I drove too far, <laughs> because it was shown on the plane, I thought I had to go to the plane. Okay, so it's on, on the runway again. Oh, okay, now I understand what it, the, um, what it means with average snow depth. So it is, it when it reaches zero, it just disappears, and then we're done. Okay, so that's it, alright. Jet bridge and fuel, catering, career, let's do career. We have some money, I should upgrade some cars. Jet bridge. And snow clearance, once more time, one more time. So that's, I somehow think that's almost a shame that it's not uh, like you have to remove everything, although it's just to preserve fun in the game and um, just so it doesn't get boring, but um, really just r rushing into the snowfield and uh, doing a few circles and then suddenly disappears and you're done with no problem. It's a little too easy almost. And there's also no um, um, level to choose like um, any difficulty. The follow me car. The Memo 1000. The follow me car provides visual signaling between ground personnel and pilots at the airport. It leads an aircraft to its parking position or to the runway. Okay, so we have that one now. The follow me car. Upgrade, yeah why not, a little more speed here. Second upgrade, not right now, but... Well let's see, what should be upgraded? Maybe the snow boom. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't know how, how often this will be used, but I think everything will be used in Anytime. The jet bridge, well, I don't know, I think that's not very wor worth it. That thing... Does it need... yeah... yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So the next career mission should be with the... follow me, yep. 09... 08, okay, so first... let's do that one first in, like, an order. So let's do snow first with the upgraded snow broom. 16 centimeters, that should be done in no time. Okay, done. This also has an indicator, quite funny. This is quite fast, okay. 50 miles an hour, 55. Okay, the, the cars drive like uh, they have a rear axle steering and but no front <laughs> rear steering like a like a forge lift. That's really how they feel to drive. Okay, so just drive through the markers by one by one. Okay, so we just have to drive that way here. And the airplane follows. Is it following? Yes it is, with the same speed, so quite quite quickly. Woo! Come on, get it, get it, in reverse, yep. That one, and that one, and the last two. 
Nice, and we're done. Time bonus. Nice, what is that? No explanation. Oh, pop up. Okay. Nice. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Maybe I will do another one. I'm pretty sure I will do another one. So, we'll see us in the next episode. Bye.